Hey everyone, Bronte here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's Clean With Me. How is everyone doing today? I hope that you guys enjoy this video and find it super motivating. I am going to be tackling messes around my house. We're going to be cleaning and tidying up and I'm super excited because I am also going to be sharing how to strip your laundry of buildup, whether it be from hard water, fabric softener, laundry detergent, or just years of use. So I'm going to show you exactly what I use to do so and how to get that done for yourself. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Give this a huge thumbs up if you enjoy cleaning videos and don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time stopping by. First things first on the list, we are going to get this laundry stripping done and you're probably like, oh my gosh, Bronte, didn't you just KonMari your drawers? Yes, I did. But you want to have clean laundry to start with. So today I'm going to be using Calgon Water Softener. I am also going to be using Borax Detergent Booster. And then I am also going to be using Arm & Hammer Super Washing Soda. So you're going to want to fill your bathtub up halfway with hot water, as hot as your tap will go. So fill this up halfway and then you are going to put your ingredients in to make nasty laundry soup. I'm going to be using three tablespoons of each thing. So three tablespoons of the Calgon softener, three tablespoons of the borax and three tablespoons of the super washing soda by Arm & Hammer. So you're going to want to let that dissolve before you put your stuff in, fill your bathtub up halfway, dissolve the ingredients, and then you're going to throw your laundry in there. You are going to put clean laundry in. You do not want to put dirty laundry in. You're going to strip your clean laundry of all of the buildup, whether you have hard water, you're using fabric softener, a laundry detergent with softener to it, or just gunky, yucky buildup. So I'm going to do my workout clothes because I've never done this before and I figured this was a good place to start to see how gross they get because obviously you're sweating while you're working out. So once you put the laundry in, you're going to mix it up like you're making disgusting laundry soup. I'm not even kidding. That's what it looks like. It's pretty gross what you get at the end. So mix it all up and then you are going to want to let this sit for a minimum of four hours. It is best to let it sit overnight to strip as much of the buildup out of your laundry as possible. But today I'm going to let it sit for between four to five hours. So I set a timer so that I knew it was in for a minimum of four hours. Now let's move on to cleaning up the rest of the house. I'm gonna start in my bedroom. My allergies have been killing me lately. So I am going to be dusting my room first and foremost because I feel like that is the most important thing to get done because my allergies have been waking me up at night. I've tried Zerda, I've tried Claritin. So we are gonna start by dusting the room. A little tip for you, I am covering my bed up with a blanket that needs to be washed so that I don't have to wash all of my bedding to get any fallen dust off of it. And I am also going to be using my Swiffer with a microfiber cloth on it to dust my walls, to dust my ceiling, and to dust the vents on the ceiling as well. Speak out about the way I live, but it's a 24 karat dream. No supermodel in my dirty jeans, but in my 24 inches heels. Another thing that I'm going to be doing today is vacuuming my headboard. I honestly never dust my headboard and since my allergies have been so bad I figured I would just try and dust it as much as I could. So I'm using a fabric attachment on my Shark Rocket vacuum and I'm just vacuuming the headboard to get as much dust as possible. We've had this headboard for a while so there's probably tons of dust 
caked into it, so I'm just gonna vacuum it until I feel that I've gotten as much as I can out of it. And then I have something else that's super gross to show you guys. You guys, this lamp is so gross. I wish you could actually see how thick the dust and hair is on this thing. And there's also dead bugs in there that had been attracted to the light. It is so gross. So I'm gonna vacuum this out. I've honestly never cleaned this lamp. The owners before us left it here because there is no light on our ceiling fan. So maybe they were just being courteous, but oh my gosh, it is nasty. I don't know if they've even ever cleaned it. So I vacuumed it and I'm gonna use a microfiber cloth to clean the rest of it. And man, it was dusty. So here we are an hour in to our laundry stripping. As you can see, there is some nasty stuff coming out and into the water. It's starting to look like a swamp in here. It is so gross. Just wait for the end of the video when you see the final result of what was left behind in the water. It's so gross. So like I said, I used that blanket just to collect any dust so I didn't have to wash my bedding. And you just throw your dirty blanket in the wash, get all of the dust out. And now I'm just gonna make my bed before we move on to cleaning up the rest of my room and vacuuming it all up. cleaning up my bathroom today we are obviously not going to be cleaning the bathtub or the shower because all of my laundry is soaking in there so I'm just using up and up glass cleaner on my mirrors and then I'm trying the seventh generation disinfecting bathroom cleaner it's supposed to be a lemongrass scent and it's supposed to kill 99.99% .99 of bacteria and germs so if you let it sit for the recommended 10 minutes after you wipe everything down before putting it on there then it is a disinfectant, but you can also just use it to clean. So I'm just doing a nice surface clean on everything. I will say that I was not so much a fan of this scent. It was kind of disgusting to be honest with you. I definitely didn't feel it was like a fresh lemon grassy scent. It was, I don't even know how to explain it. It wasn't wonderful. So. I don't think I'll be purchasing this again, but it was the only cleaning product that I could find that claimed to be disinfectant if it was left on for the recommended time. Go ahead and tell your friends. Talk it out, but it won't end. Moving right along to the kids' bathroom, something that I like to do quite often is spray around the toilet because usually it is pretty disgusting. I have two little ones who are using the potty and let's just say the pee doesn't always get into the toilet so I like to spray the floor down and I'm also going to let the disinfecting spray sit on the toilet and I am also going to let the bleach that I sprayed on the floor sit there for a little while and get everything all nice and clean and I'm using that same Clorox bleach spray in the bathtub. I'm gonna let that sit while I go back to cleaning up the rest of the bathroom. So now that I have talked your ears off, I hope that you guys are enjoying this video so far. If this is your first time here, I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe. And I'd also like to take a moment and introduce myself. My name is Bronte, as I said in the very beginning of the video. I am a stay-at-home mom of two. I live in Las Vegas with my husband, our two kiddos, and our little dog. And there is always tons and tons of cleaning motivation over here on my channel. So if you haven't already done so, stick around, subscribe, make sure your notification bell is set to all so that you never miss an upload. And if this is your first time here, or if you are a returning subscriber, come say hi in the comments. I love getting to know you guys better and I love hanging out and talking to you. So always come say hi if you're watching my video. It means the world to me when you do. I get asked about the kids' toilet seats quite often, so I'll have them linked down below, but we got them at Home Depot. 
What I love about this toilet seat is that you can remove the kid's little potty seat for when you no longer need it and they're just using the regular big potty. So I think it is a super great purchase. They are like $50 each for the adult toilet seat and the kid toilet seat attachment. So it's not super, super cheap, but it's also not overly priced. And I feel like this is a great way to get your kids used to going to the bathroom on the actual big toilet instead of a little kid's potty. the real fun stuff begins. We're gonna start by taking down all of the decorations from my son's fifth birthday. We weren't able to have a birthday party for him like we had planned to, so I tried to make it as special as possible by doing a Super Mario theme like he had asked for. I put decorations everywhere. We had balloons everywhere that are now popped and being picked up. So we are gonna clean up all of that stuff before we move on to tackling the big stuff like the Mount Everest of dishes in my dishwasher. I'm gonna unload the dishwasher so that I can load it right back up and then I'm going to tackle all of the dishes in the sink. Does anybody actually like washing dishes? I've had a few people comment that they love washing dishes and I just wanna know where you get the motivation to love washing dishes. I just cannot seem to fall in love with washing the dishes. I loathe it. I don't even know why. I honestly have no clue why I don't like washing the dishes because I do not like having a pile of dishes in my sink, but I also dread having to do them. Is anybody else like that? Screaming out your name Take me to a different place Just the two of us And we can stay up all night Kissing under street lights Doing what we want to Doing what we need to do Staying up all night Everything is alright Oh, I wanna be with you Oh, I wanna be with you Let me be the someone who can hold your hand Moving on to one of my favorite chores is to clean the sink. I love cleaning my sink. I do not like doing the dishes to get the sink empty enough to clean, but I thoroughly enjoy cleaning the sink. And I'm gonna be using Barkeeper's Friend Soft Cleanser. This works really well for a stainless steel sink, but you can also use it on porcelain, ceramic, and other kinds of materials. So I highly, highly recommend this. However, I do recommend wearing a glove or some sort of hand protection. And when you are using this product, you want the sink to be damp still. You don't wanna have a dry sink. And you wanna make sure that you rinse this out as soon as you are done and thoroughly rinse it out because it is easy to leave behind product buildup. So just rinse it off really good. I'm just using a sponge, the soft side of a sponge, so that I don't scratch up my sink. And I'm just gonna rinse it down, make sure I get all of it down. And then I like to wipe the sink down when I am done cleaning it so that I don't leave any water spots behind. time away from you I didn't think I'd make it without you by my side let me feel your love again just the two of us and we could stay up all night kissing under street lights doing what we want to doing what we need to do staying up all night everything is all right Today's cleaner of choice for the counters is the Method Cleaner in the pink grapefruit scent. It is not an antibacterial cleaner, but it is a really good surface cleaner and it gives the kitchen 
such a nice fresh scent. I love the way this one smells. It smells divine and it's super summery, which I also love. Another one of my all-time favorite things is to straighten up the living room. I love having a clean living room, especially since this is the first area of our house that you see besides the kitchen and the dining area. So I am just loving how our kitchen and our living room and everything is starting to come together. We recently shipped left the wall in here and we've just done minor things as we've owned the home for almost a year now. We are slow to move along with the house stuff because obviously everything costs money and we don't want to blow a ton of money getting it all done. But I do have an exciting thing to share. I finally, finally got cabinet paint to paint our cabinets. I'm sure you noticed the swatches of paint on the cabinets, but I finally picked out cabinet paint and I am so excited to get those started. I'm hoping to do that this weekend. So be on the lookout for a cabinet painting video coming sometime. I don't know when exactly because I have no clue how long it's going to take me to do the cabinets because my husband still works and obviously I've got two little kiddos so it's going to take a while but I'm so excitedly excited to finally be getting there and getting that started. Now it is time to vacuum up. I love vacuuming. Does anybody else love vacuuming? Because I find it so therapeutic and soothing. I don't even know why but I love it. Following the sea this is what I've learned I'm different for a reason Kept the engine on Never stay too long I'm alright, I don't mind Being restless Something in your eye Made me stay all night I can see you are different too Love me like a stranger Like a man we forgot about the laundry that we were stripping upstairs. It is time to remove it. I let it sit for just about five hours. Like I said, it is best to let it sit overnight. I just didn't have the time because my husband needs to use the shower first thing in the morning and by first thing I mean very early in the morning. So we're gonna take it out now. This removes all of the buildup from fabric softener, sweatiness, laundry detergent, hard water. So I'm going to take the clothing out of the bathtub. Now, typically you would drain the bathtub first, but I wanna show you the end result of the water. So I'm gonna take everything out and use a bucket to bring everything downstairs to my laundry room. I'm gonna throw it in the washing machine and we are gonna run this on a hot water cycle. So I'm gonna be using the sanitary cycle because that's what my washing machine has. Extra hot water, extra rinse, extra high spin speed to get all of that gunky build up water out of the clothing as much as possible. You wanna use hot, hot water and you wanna to try to get out as much of that water out as possible. So you guys, this is the end result of what was left behind in my bathtub. Disgusting, it is so gross. And this isn't even the worst that I've seen. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Come say hi in the comments. Have an amazing day and thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. I'll catch you guys in the next video. If you need more motivation, click on one of these videos up here on the screen. Thank you.